Hi everyone, back again with another repose video, this time on the Hot Toys 1 6 scale part diecast Robocop figure. The absolute classic film from the 80s, very iconic. This is definitely one of my favourite Hot Toys figures ever made. Someone came to me and they had never bought one of these figures before, and they wanted advice, and they were about my age, and they grew up watching the films I grew up. They said, where's a good place to start? I just, I wouldn't hesitate, I'd say Robocop. The Battle Damage version is amazing as well, I don't have that one. Maybe one day, but this is just the one of the ultimates for me. Just so real looking, hundred percent. So we'll see what we can come up with pose-wise. Let's get started. At the moment, he's just pointing the gun. That's how I've had him for a little while. He's a fun figure to pose. You definitely will need to, just for safety. Uh, switch out the groin grabber uh, clasp that they give you for one of these waist grabbing ones. You don't get one of these waist grabbing stands with the figure, uh, so you'd have to take care of that yourself. But I found out over time it was definitely necessary. His feet just don't really, uh, you know, they're a bit slidey. He does slide around a bit on this base. It's a very sort of smooth surface. I just love it. It's pretty much 1-6 scale perfection right here. We'll just take a look at some of the accessories you get to work with. All in all you get four mouth plates, the three here, and the one that we're rocking at the moment, just the straight face. And the battle damage chest plate. But there's your battle damaged helmet as well. Very nice. Check out the showcase video on this guy. Uh, with all the movie backgrounds and the actual score from the film. Turned out really nice. That was a special one. And the uh, photography with this guy with the movie backgrounds behind him. You just swear it's the real thing. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. So easy for you to find. Just click on the link underneath this video. And check that one out. All right, just changed the mouth plate. Now I did have to glue the gun into his hand because I actually got really sick of uh, the gun just dropping out of his hands all the time. He has those articulated fingers, which are really cool, but just not very good for holding his weapon. So I uh, just used a little bit of glue, just the tiniest little speck of glue really, and just stuck it to the inner palm of his hand and then placed the fingers in the position they need to be in. So now he never drops the gun and you'd always want Robocop holding his classic signature piece. Whatever that gun is, I know it's, uh, you know, it was originally some kind of uh, a real gun and then they just added on all the parts to it to make it look as cool as it is. I remember the uh, Far Cry spin-off game Blood Dragon. You get a gun that's basically like this. It's an absolutely awesome game. But yeah, his classic kind of firing his gun pose where he always puts out his other arm and his hand like that. Quite a few moments in the original movie. Look at that, just such a great figure. All right, so I'm just gonna keep working with some different poses. Might come back to this one, because I do love this. It's a classic, very recognizable. Peter Weller's Robocop, the Robocop. Robo All right, Robocop. Looks pretty funny if you don't push the helmet down all the way from the front view. <laughs> funny. It's really nice under this uh, LED light here. Kind of brings out all the different tones in him. We'll see a little bit of a light blue here as well, which you don't usually see on him. You see those kind of nice little pinkish purple kind of hues going through there. But this pose is actually quite nice. You don't always have to have him, you know, full action, action city. You can just have him something a bit more subtle. He's noticed something, he's walking, he's turned his top half of his body, he's spotted something on the ground, maybe some evidence. He is a cop, after all. Gotta solve those crimes. It's not all about shooting people. Alright, well even though I had super glued uh, one of his guns, because you do get two guns, both the same uh, gun, but one's plastic and one's die cast. That's the plastic one over there that was actually glued into this hand. But as I was messing around with the pose and I wanted to remind myself how the hell this opens, uh, and I forgot that the die cast gun was actually in his leg the whole time, 
for like the last two years or something that's been buried in his thigh. Uh, so yeah, the plastic gun has come out of his hand now, so I figured rather than just gluing it back again, I might as well pose him up where the leg is opening and the gun's revealed. And uh, we'll get him like he's just about to draw and deal with some fools. But that's nice because I've never actually displayed him with the leg opening up and the gun displayed like that, so might as well do that for a little while. Let me just tweak this pose a little bit, but it's pretty much going to be this kind of vibe. Okay, I think I'm actually really happy with this one. I've gone for, like I said, he's about to draw his gun out of his uh, thigh holster concealed section thing. But he's using his other hand and he's clearly telling someone to stop. Maybe they're about to draw their gun and, you know, he is programmed, uh, hopefully, to first try a more peaceful solution rather than blowing a hole in someone so he's uh, in the middle of saying stop I've used the most talky looking mouth plate that he has uh, you do get the really aggressive one with the teeth showing and uh, these other ones here but the only one that really looks like he's saying anything is this one here so yeah he's trying to get someone to not draw their weapon so that he doesn't have to put them down and he's reaching for his gun on his hip. Leg position, not too bad. It's like turning the waist. Try to put as much life in there as possible. Doesn't hurt that you're working with such a great figure, to be honest. I mean, it's just a nice, fun figure to pose. Nice and chunky, good weight to him. Part die cast, so certain section, uh, sections are really ice cold to the touch. Like all here is die cast. This is plastic. Uh, all here is die cast. This is plastic, his chest is plastic, and uh, that's all plastic too, and the head. So there's not that much die cast on him, but he is really heavy. But that's how I'm going to have him, I think, just for a little while. Be happy with that. That's a nice angle, maybe a little bit more this way, so we can see him. See, so yeah, that's the thing, you want to be able to see the gun. But let's put him on the shelf and see how it looks. Alright, we'll just carefully grab him and pop him back on the shelf that's a pretty sweet angle right there I think because you can see everything looks like he's kind of telling Snake not to do anything silly but it's already too late he's holding the gun let's see his little nameplate there. Yep. Pretty much digging this one. Interesting from both sides. He looks good from this side because you can see the gun. Looks cool from the front because you can see the whole idea behind it. And then he's actually addressing you from this angle. Very nice. Alright, so that's the Robocop pose done. Pretty happy with that one. Didn't intend on showing the gun in the thigh, but I'm glad I did. Especially from that angle. I'm going to take some pictures, put them on the gram. Make sure you're following me. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you soon. Take it easy.